Welcome back. Our three professional chefs had just 30 minutes to throw together a three-course menu for a table of catwalk models. But who has done the best job? The main courses have just arrived. Green chef Peter is banking on high-calorie cuisine with his oily trout. That is amazing. Mm. Oh, that is it so actually does melt in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> no, it's beautiful fish. Best fish I've ever had, definitely. Oh. oh, wow. I wonder how they get that. With his layers of lamb, Red Chef Brad has put his faith in fine dining. I like it. I, know, I like it with nuts. And... Yeah, it's a beautiful. I think this really is a little bit too heavy. It's heavy. For something that we would eat. It tastes like the meatballs my mum makes at home. <laughs> I think this is a businessman sort of meal. OK, I can't wait to try this blue one. Josh on blue is hoping healthy is a hit with his poached poussin. So I see this chef is going with a healthy option. This is exciting. I'm excited about this one. This is my kind of well, food. I think that following the sashimi, like he's going for that lighter really option. Healthy. So like he's doing really well if you're catering to a model's diet. So I'll give him a high five for feeding us well. It's anyone's game, but our models can only decide on one winner. Whose dessert will put the icing on their victory cake? We've got a banana souffle, uh, and then we're going to serve it with a Mexican hot chocolate. It's a new version of strawberries and cream, this one. I really want to impress the girls. I want them to walk away and go, wow, I need to vote for this guy because it's a fantastic dish, and it's a bit out there. Looks like Brad is playing for votes. The trick when making a souffle is we get the, the egg whites whisked up until they're almost coming to a soft heat. They're nice and light, and then we begin to add the sugar slowly. Pete's a bit more uh, into his technology, he likes using the machines, the computers, all that sort of naffy stuff, but uh, I like to give all the old old style things a bit of a whirl. There's nothing wrong with whisking it by hand. Pete must think that models like sugar. Lots of sugar. Just to finish the girls off, they're probably feeling very full of meat and oil after dealing with Brad's bad lamb and um, all of Pete's pork. So uh, I'm just going to finish them off on a nice fruit plate to uh, clean their palates and uh, send them on their way. Probably going out dancing or something after this. Hopefully we'll be able to join them. It's his kitchen and Brad is bringing out the big guns. <clears throat> now it took us two months to get authorised by the Health and Safety Department. Uh, it's something really, really different. That's cool. Get it? Basically what this is doing is setting it. Temperature is minus 194 degrees Celsius. Goes in cooling and then once it starts warming up the back of the palate, that's when the flavour starts coming out of the strawberry. Brad's dessert is strawberries and cream nitro bombs with strawberry salad. Which one to, um, of you two turn the oven off? <laughs> Can you explain? Looks a bit more like a souffle than a souffle there, mate. Uh-oh, it's <laughs> souffle gate. And once again, Peter has fallen behind with time. How you going over there, mate? Yeah, round two underway. <laughs> Josh, however, is ready to rumble. And you eat with your eyes and voila. For his final trick, Josh gives the girls a summer fruit salad with raspberry sorbet and cream. Perfect. Despite their best efforts to bring me down, we've got a winner. Pete finally gets his banana souffle to rise to the occasion, pairing it with Mexican hot chocolate and peanut brittle ice cream. Our boys have done all they can. Wow, hello. After the break, the models declare the winner of the 30-minute menu.